Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create and save a basic Photoshop action. Photoshop actions allow you to record a series of steps that you can then play back on other images. That way you don't have to manually apply the same steps to multiple files. You can download the project files for this tutorial to see the final Photoshop action that we're going to create and have a couple of images to work with if you don't have any of your own. Let's get started. So for this tutorial we're going to create a very simple vintage photo effect but before we do anything, we need to set up our action. So the first thing that we need to do is open the Actions palette. And we're going to come down here and click the Create New Set button. And we're going to name that set Vintage Actions. Next, I'm going to create a new action with the New Action button. And I'm going to name this Vintage Action 1. And I'm going to make sure that that's going to be in the set Vintage Actions that we just created. And I'm going to hit Record. Now you can see down here the little red dot and that's telling us that Photoshop is going to record anything that we do to our image and then we can save that and play it back later on another image. So the first thing that I'm going to do is add a photo filter adjustment layer and I'm going to increase the density to about 50%. And you can see that what we just did has been added to our action. Next I'm going to create a curves adjustment layer and I'm going to go into the red channel and give it a slight S curve. And then in the green channel, I'm going to give it another slight S-curve. And then in the blue channel, I'm going to give it a reverse S-curve. And that's just going to give us a nice little vintage effect. Lastly, I'm going to add a brightness and contrast adjustment layer. And I'm going to increase the brightness to about 25 or so. And decrease the contrast all the way down. So those are all the effects that I want to apply to our image. So I'm going to come down here in the Actions palette and hit Stop to stop recording. So now I can come over here to my other document, and if I come over to my Actions palette and click the Vintage Action that we just created, all I have to do is come down here and hit Play, and it will apply all the same steps that we just did automatically. Now, when you go to Save an Action, you can only save a set. You can't save individual actions. That's why we created a set in the first step. So I'm going to come up here and click on my Vintage Action set, and then I'm going to click the drop-down icon and choose Save Actions. Now I can just save this as Vintage Actions and hit Save. And then if you ever want to load an action in, you just come back up to the drop-down menu, click Load Actions, and double-click the action file. Photoshop Actions let you record almost anything, including save commands, which makes it really easy to open a series of images, apply your effects, and save them all without having to do each one individually. Actions are also a great way to share your settings with other people, or build a library of effects that you can use all the time. I'm John Shaver for Photoshop Video Academy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.